In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily make model rocket igniters, just like you see here. These are the ones that I made already. Only took a few minutes to make these. These cost me around two cents a piece. Now, when you go to buy model rocket igniters, they can cost around a dollar a piece. I've seen six packs being sold for $5.99 or more. So I'm going to show you how you can make these very inexpensively. Now, in order to make these igniters, you're going to need a roll of Canthal A1 resistive wire. 32 to 34 gauge is just fine. This right here is 100 feet, and it only cost me $4 shipped, so just imagine how many you could make with this roll. You're also going to need a cheap book of matches. A book of matches only costs around 10 cents. And you're going to need a little bit of crazy glue as well. You could pick these up in the dollar store, four in a pack for one dollar. Now what's important when you make these, the matches are a little wider than an eighth of an inch. Your model rocket nozzle is around eighth of an inch wide. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the matches, take it away like that, Take a brand new, very sharp razor blade. This is a surgical blade, but you can use a regular single edge blade. You're going to make a cut straight through, right below the head. All right. Now, if you want just a regular igniter for a different project, you would take the head of the match, like that. I'm going to give you a close-up in a minute because this camera does not do well on video up close. Take the blade very, very carefully. You're going to go in the center of the match and you're going to slice down slowly, right through the middle. All right, keep slicing all the way down like that. That's finished. It's flared open. Take a piece of the resistive wire. You can see it right there. Make a 90 degree bend. You want to come up about a half of an inch to 5 eighths and make a tight loop. Squeeze it together like you see there and make another 90 degree at that end and that's good to go there so now you're going to cut this off take the match that you opened up the head on see right there's the opening place one drop of crazy glue inside that opening that and then slide in the resistive wire push all the way down and squeeze hold that for about a minute and then it's complete All right, so here is the one that's dry. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply power and show you how well it works. Take the alligator clips, one on each side. I'll apply six volts and it should light right off. Now it does not make any difference that the entire wire will glow when you go to use this for your rockets. Just make sure this is inserted far enough into the nozzle to make contact with the propellant. Now this is another small one that I made it'll slide right inside the nozzle of the rocket engine. Now if you don't want to use the plastic plugs that go inside the nozzle to keep the igniter from popping out, what I use is I take a Q-tip 
and I just break it off above the cotton and you can use that and it works very well. You just slide the igniter in, make sure the legs are not touching, keep them apart. Once it's all the way in, you can slide this just like that, push it forward, and then it's a little tapered because of the cotton and it will grab the nozzle and keep it in position. Then you'll have the legs, which of course could be longer than you see here. You can make them an inch long if you want. And you could put your alligator clips right on the leads. So once 6 to 12 volts is applied to the igniter, even with the cotton in position like that, this will not fall out. It will not catch fire quickly. The igniter will burn way before this cotton will burn enough to fall out of the hole. So just gently slide that in until it wedges. It'll push against the two leads, against the nozzle, keeping it in position. Then you can take your alligator clips, connect it to each lead, and you're good to go. It's as simple as that. If you're looking for a hotter spark when the match ignites, then there's something else you can do to increase the amount of heat. You can take one of these magnesium fire starters. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight. You can pick these up online, very inexpensive for about three dollars. You can get these also at sporting goods stores. You would take this right here. Scrape a bunch of magnesium filings. All right. You can see them right here. The next thing you're going to do is apply crazy glue a thin layer onto the match head, the one that you already made, like I did here already. You can see there's magnesium on it. Once that thin layer of crazy glue is on there, you could gently touch it to the magnesium, or you can hold it just like this and sprinkle the magnesium over the glue. Once this triggers, you're going to see a lot more intense sparking coming off of the match head. You'll see white sparks, and that should help if you're looking to trigger something that requires more heat. I'll demonstrate right now how it works with the magnesium on the match head. All right. And here we go. Now the more magnesium that you place on the match head, you will observe a lot more white sparking. It doesn't take much of that white sparking to increase the amount of heat around the match head, so you don't have to get carried away with the amount of magnesium you place on the match head. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you for watching.